So here I have two compact keyboards aimed at those looking for a productivity keyboard. The first one, the light mode keyboard, is a keyboard that's been designed by Ali Abdal, a doctor turned productivity expert. Other keyboard is the MX Mechanical Mini, and this has been designed by Logitech, a company which prides itself on producing reliable and widely used tech products such as the MX Master Mouse or their other keyboards such as the MX Keys. Now, as I've said before, both of these keyboards are supposed to enhance productivity. How they do this, I'm not too sure, but they both have a compact form factor, they both have mechanical switches, and they're both on the pricier scale when it comes to mechanical keyboards. So in this video, I'm going to compare the light mode keyboard versus the MX Mechanical Mini and see which of these keyboards basically does what it says and is the best productivity keyboard. So a good place to probably start is the similarities. The obvious point to make is they're both compact keyboards with the MX Mechanical Mini having a 75% layout with 84 keys and the light mode keyboard having a 65% layout with 68 keys. The second point to make is they're both aimed at productivity. So if you're looking for a gaming keyboard, these keyboards probably aren't for you. If you're concerned about the color of your keyboard, they both come in a white color with the light mode keyboard having two white variants, Cobalt Blue, which I have here, and you can also get the Coral Orange version. The MX Mechanical Mini has a white version which they class as pale grey and then there's also a graphite version. They both connect wirelessly and have a USB type C receiver which enables Bluetooth connectivity to your device. They can both be paired with up to three devices at any one time and can be switched between easily. They both have a keyboard body which has very little flex and essentially they're both keyboards that should last a while without wearing down or breaking. Both keyboards would benefit anyone who's wanting a decent portable keyboard that would be compatible with something like an iPad or to use with a Mac MacBook if you don't want the keyboard that comes with the laptop. As I've got the MX Mechanical for Mac, both keyboards by default are set up to the Mac layout, although the light mode can be used with Windows and you can purchase the MX Mechanical Mini that's not aimed at Mac users. Now that I've broadly talked about some of the similarities between the two keyboards, let's draw a comparison and talk about the differences. You can see right off the bat that they obviously have a different structure and that basically comes down to the fact that the MX Mechanical Mini is technically a low profile mechanical keyboard whereas the light mode keyboard is just a standard mechanical keyboard. Starting with the MX Mechanical, it comes in a two tone colour of light grey and white and Logitech are calling the overall colour pale grey. The keyboard looks modern and is pretty sturdy. If you try and flex this keyboard there's basically no bend. This is probably helped by the fact that the top case is made out of aluminium or aluminium if you're American and because of this it does give you that premium feel. There is plastic used for the chassis but even the plastic feels solid again helping to prevent the keyboard from having any flex. On top of the keyboard on the right side you'll find the charging port along with the power switch. On the bottom of the keyboard is a rubber strip which helps prevent movement on your desk. The light mode keyboard has two colour options which I've mentioned before. Cobalt blue which I have here and you can also get in coral orange. No matter which colour option you choose the predominant colour is going to be white with either shades of blue or orange as an accent colour. Of the two keyboards I'd say the light mode looks cheaper and is definitely noticeably more plasticky. This makes sense given the light mode is made primarily from plastic unlike the top case of the mechanical mini. However, the keyboard does have very little flex when typing or when attempting to bend it. MX Mechanical comes with height adjustable feet, so you can either leave the keyboard flat on the desk as it comes out of the box, or you can use the two feet on the underside and prop the keyboard up at an 8 degree angle. The light mode also comes with height adjustable plastic feet, so you can also raise your keyboard up to give it an angle when you're typing. There's no mention of the angle on the website to say how much of an angle it's at, but the angle seems fairly similar to the MX Mechanical Mini. In terms of the dimensions of the keyboard, they are noticeably different. Like like I said before, the MX Mechanical Mini is a 75% layout keyboard with a depth of 131.6mm, a length of 312.6mm and a height of 26.1mm when you don't include the keyboard feet. The light mode on the other hand is a 65% layout keyboard with a depth of 110mm, a length of 315mm and a height of 37mm. And given that it's a 65% layout, I'm somewhat surprised by the fact the light mode is actually slightly longer than the MX Mechanical Mini. However, I'm not really surprised about the fact the light mode is taller, mainly due to the fact that it's a mechanical keyboard whereas the MX Mechanical Mini is a low profile keyboard. Another noticeable difference between the two keyboards is the light mode is substantially heavier, weighing 820 grams versus the 612 grams of the MX Mechanical Mini. I was kind of surprised by the difference because as I've said before, the MX Mechanical Mini does feel substantial and does not feel like a cheap product and it's also aluminium as part of the design. The light mode on the other hand does feel more plasticky and is the cheaper of the two keyboards. 
With MX Mechanical Mini, you get ABS plastic keycaps in the white light grey colour. The keycaps themselves are ABS shine through, so you do get a good amount of light coming through the keycaps from the backlighting of the keyboard. And this is useful if you're typing at night. The only issue with the ABS keycaps is they do wear down over time and they do develop a bit of shine from the oil on your fingers when you're typing. This is something I've talked about before in one of my other videos where I compared different Keychron keyboards and I'll put a link to this video up here. The light mode keyboard on the other hand uses PBT printed keycaps so you don't get the shine through from the RGB lighting. However, PBT keycaps are considered to be more durable and arguably more premium. The light mode website states that the keycaps are fabricated with ultra high quality materials to ensure longevity and durability. How these keycaps will fare after a lot of use I'm not too sure but the keycaps definitely feel premium and are arguably one of the biggest selling points of this keyboard. Now moving on to the keys themselves. Needless to say, there was a big difference between the keyboards. The light mode is a mechanical keyboard, so with it, you're getting all the features of a typical mechanical keyboard. Now the key thing about mechanical keyboards is, each key has an individual switch underneath it, which can make them more durable and customizable. And it's this switch that's responsible for making that clicky sound that you get with mechanical keyboards. The light mode uses Gateron G yellow hot swappable switches and making the keyboard fully customizable. These switches that come with the keyboard are tactile switches, but if you prefer linear switches, these can be purchased and swapped out. The keys give you a good level of feedback when you're typing and the keyboard is nice to type on, but I do struggle to understand what specifically makes this a productivity keyboard and not just another 65% layer mechanical keyboard. The MX Mechanical Mini on the other hand is considered a low profile mechanical keyboard. This means it has less travel time when typing compared with a standard mechanical keyboard. The MX Mechanical Mini can be purchased with different switch options. I have the tactile switches here on my MX Mechanical Mini and this does reduce the clicky sound a little bit compared with other switches. You do also get some feedback when you hit the key which helps you when you're typing. The other options include clicky and linear switches. The clicky switches give you the audible clicky sound that you expect with mechanical keyboards and the linear switches give you the fastest travel time. It arguably makes them better for things like gaming where the response time of the hitting the key is really important. Which switches you prefer with mechanical keyboards is kind of up to you and it kind of depends on what you're going to use the keyboard for, whether that's either office work, gaming, etc. Typically, linear keyboards get used with gaming office work. Clicky keyboards tend to get used by people who are typing a lot and the tactile switches are sort of a halfway house between them both. One really important thing to mention about the MX Mechanical Mini switches is they're not customizable. That means whatever switches you purchase, you're stuck with. That's one drawback to the MX Mechanical Mini as a low profile keyboard, as many other common low profile mechanical keyboard brands, such as Keychron or Nufi, offer switch customization as standard. Now the MX Mechanical Mini keyboard doesn't have an RGB lighting colour option. It only has a white backlight and it has a sensor which detects when you're about to type and switches the backlighting on automatically. I think the point of this is to try and conserve battery life when the keyboard is not being used. With the MX Mechanical, this can be adjusted manually using the keyboard. And as the MX Mechanical has ABS keycaps, the lights are able to shine through, which can help you with typing at night and makes the keycaps appear brighter. The light mode on the other hand has RGB lighting and the brightness of the color of the lighting can be adjusted using the keyboard. It has 10 different color options for the lighting and it can also be set to a white backlight. So if you don't have to use it with the RGB lighting. It also offers different color patterns and essentially the lighting for the keyboard is highly customizable. Now when it comes to pricing these keyboards there is a slight difference. The MX Mechanical Mini is currently priced at Amazon at £149.99 although they often do discounts where you can get it for cheaper. The light mode on the other hand can only be bought from the website and there isn't any discount on the site. The current price of the light mode is £129 and I'll leave links to both of the keyboards down below if you're interested in purchasing any of these. But yeah the MX Mechanical Mini is about £20 more expensive if you purchase it without the discount. In terms of battery life, the MX Mechanical advertises that it stays charged for up to 15 days on a full charge with the backlighting on and up to 10 months with the backlighting off. The MX Mechanical Mini also offers quick charging and it can be used whilst it's charging if it's plugged in using a USB type C cable. The light mode on the other hand just states it has a long lasting battery life and at the bottom of the box it says it can last up to a month. I haven't been able to test how long it lasts with typical use shit, but I suspect it'll probably be less than the MX Mechanical Mini. Now for a bit of a sound test with both keyboards.
So which keyboard do I actually prefer? Or I guess the better question is, which keyboard makes me more productive? I would have to choose the MX Mechanical Mini. The keyboard is just easy to use, does what you need to do without any fuss, and by definition, isn't this what helps you be productive? Light mode's biggest selling point is the keycaps and the fact that it sounds good when you're typing, but the problem is there's tons of keyboards out there that have that exact same selling point. And for the price of the light mode, it's hard to justify what makes this keyboard so good or how it enhances your productivity in any way. Yes, the MX Mechanical Mini is also pricey, but at least with Logitech, you know you're getting a keyboard that's going to last and has a battery that will still work ages without charging it. That's not to say I don't like light mode because I do but I just can't justify the price of it when there are other keyboards out there that will offer the same thing for a much cheaper price. But let me know about your thoughts on the keyboards in the comments down below. If you found this video useful please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.